All right, check it out. Webflow released some CMS updates that's gonna take SEO and Webflow to the next level. Additionally, it's gonna make working with collections a lot easier. Now, here is the blog post announcing the launch of this new feature. We got three main points. First, you can nest collection pages within folders for more URL control. Second, we can prevent template pages for a given collection from publishing. And third, we can duplicate collection structures. I'll show you each one in some examples, but first let's see how the community is reacting. People are going nuts for this. Dylan Garcia is the engineer behind this at Webflow, probably a lot of other people working on this too. So thank you so much for that. Josh gives it this, period, clap emoji. Claudia says, say what? Rocket ship emoji. Emily with the ship emoji, appreciate that as a Navy sailor. Salute to you, Emily. RR Abrat's big on it, Benoit. Webflow and Shane, let's click in here and see what people are saying. What are they saying? Even Yousef is proud of this one, awesome update. Keep it up, Webflow, but he's still asking for something. That guy's never satisfied. Anyways, keep it up, Yousef. Appreciate you. Luke Engel loves it. Rehan, superb. Derek, okay, we get it. Get the idea. People are loving this thing. Let's check out the example and see what we're building in Webflow today. Hey there, Web Bay. First, I'm going to start with what we could do before. Now, we have CMS features update.webflow.io, and this is some fictitious, fictitious company. And if I click on the content page, you can see we've got articles, videos, and podcasts, and the URL here is slash content. Now, when I click on articles, I can go to content slash articles because I've nested them in a folder called content. I'll show you this in Webflow in just a second. And then we can choose from our CMS collection items here. So say I want Bodega Vibes, but now look up here at the URL. It's .io slash articles slash Bodega Vibes. What happened to slash content that we would expect to show up right here before articles? So that's what's been missing from this for the whole time. And you'll notice I'm just pressing back to navigate here. At the end of this tutorial, I'll show you real quick how to set up breadcrumbs. This makes it super easy to do that now too. Anyways, let's go over to Webflow and you can see we're back on the home page here. And if I click on the pages, you see I've got home and content. I've got two pages on the root level and then I have a folder called content. And within that I have articles, podcasts, and videos. So this was all possible before this update. And then I've also got CMS collection pages for podcasts, articles, and videos here in addition to the CMS collections that's housing each one of those. Now, all I have to do to change this new URL structure is I'm on my podcast template page. So let me go in here and I'll click the gear icon and I can select this parent folder. So right here where it says parent folder, I'm just gonna click that and I'm gonna select content. So now I want this to live under content. And all I have to do is press save and I'm not gonna see any changes here in designer on the left, but let me do it for the other ones too before I publish. So content, and you can see if I zoom in now, I've changed it to content. So now we're gonna get slash content slash articles slash item slug. Before this wasn't possible and this was always set to none. And so it was slash articles. And so now this is a lot better for Google crawling our site to understand how we're structuring our data. And it just makes sense how, if we have a lot of content that we're gonna organize it correctly. Okay, so articles is that content. Oops, I wanna save those changes and videos. Let me make sure I have videos open, click the gear icon here, content and save, and then I would publish that. Okay, just to verify, I'm on the home page. I click content, we go to the endpoint slash content, and then I click podcast. Now we're at content slash podcast. I click web full life, and now the slug is there. So this is making total sense. We're gonna get our breadcrumbs to match up with our URL really well with this. Now, the other two things I wanna point out, those other two features are first that we can duplicate CMS collections. So let's say, you know, I release a new podcast um, and I want to use this podcast. While the structure is not very complicated, a lot of times when we're working with CMS, we'll have a lot of custom fields, rich, lots of rich text, uh, different images, that sort of thing. And before what you had to do was you just had to create a whole new collection and you'd have to go into custom fields and duplicate the whole thing, even if it was like the very same, a very similar schema to what you already have. When I say schema, what that means is all the different fields associated with each collection. So hopefully that doesn't confuse you there. Anyways, now what we can do is I can just press the gear icon on podcasts here and there's this little duplicate button up at the top. So I can click duplicate collection and you can see it's calling it podcast copy. So let's call this my next uh, podcast. And we've got the name, the slug, the link, the summary, and you could even change it here. So uh, I don't know, you could give it a color or wh whatever. I'm not gonna add anything new but we would just create collection. My next podcast collection is a duplicate of what this one, saving you hopefully some time uh, if you have a lot of 
a very similar CMS collection. Or maybe you say you want to like, you want to adjust one and work on one, uh, but leave the one that's live alone. This would help with that too. Okay, so we've made our new collection, my next podcast. Let's go ahead and add five items to that. And we can see that those are now created. However, let's say we're not ready to publish this change to our website, but we still need to publish some other updates that we've made. Before, it was not possible to unpublish that CMS collection template page. So we have my next podcast template. If I click the gear icon, we'll see this is the slug. So let's go ahead and copy that. And actually, let's go into the CMS, my next podcast, and we'll get one of these and we'll copy the slug here. And now we just need to add some content on here. So let's get the text, we'll get the name, and we'll publish. And come to here. Okay, and now we're seeing that this page does indeed exist, but we have no way to tell Google not to crawl this without adding some custom code that says no index or something like that. Now in Webflow, it's as simple as coming into the page here, clicking the gear icon and turning this switch to off and saving and then publish. And now we can see we get a 404 at that page. Okay, now to finish this off, I just wanna go ahead and build a quick breadcrumbs right here. So let's go ahead and we will drop in a link and I'm gonna call this breadcrumb link. And this is gonna go to our, we're gonna go to a page, we're gonna go home and this text will be home. And I think a breadcrumb link should be like all caps, should be a little bit smaller, should probably be a bit more muted. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna save this color and let's drop in some text. We're gonna do like a little slash here. Okay, and this is breadcrumb link, but I'm gonna duplicate it and say this is actually called a breadcrumb div. And now we need to start wrapping our breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna select breadcrumb link and command option G wraps it in a div, uh, command enter. Now I'm adding a style. Let's call this breadcrumbs wrapper. And I'm gonna set this to flex, horizontal, and center. And we'll justify everything to the left. Let me press Z there so we can see everything. Now I need to drag this right inside of there. And let's go ahead and give a little bit of a gap uh, down a little bit. 0.25 is good. Okay, and now home, we're just gonna come here. And then this next one was content. And so content needs to go to our content page, save that, and then holding option, dragging that, holding option, oop, I don't wanna drag, what just happened? Holding option, drag again, there, that's where I want it. And this is what, this is our podcast. So I would select under content, podcast, and then we'll drag this over, all right. And this is actually going to say podcast. You know, before I keep going, I want to add a little bit of letter spacing to this just to make it pretty. Uh, 0 0.1. Yeah, that is good. And then lastly, we'll drag one more. Ah, I screwed it up. Drag this link, although it's not going to be a link. So let's convert to a div block. Where is that? Where is that? Oh, I can't because it's a link. That would be for a link block. So let's add in some text. And we'll call this breadcrumb link. And this we're gonna get from the name. So now we have our breadcrumbs up here and these are all links that we can click. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna just copy this whole breadcrumbs wrapper, copy that, and I'll preview. And so Twitter did what? We don't wanna be able to select that, that's fine. But let's go to podcasts and now podcasts need some breadcrumbs. So, oops. Dynamic elements cannot be clicked in here. That is because we linked it to the actual text. So let's just pop in here and I'm gonna unlink it real quick. Okay. And I wanna get the whole wrapper and come back to, actually I can click preview, come back to podcast. Okay, we're moving now, unpreview and paste. Okay, that ended up where it ended up. Let's bring it to, uh, Bring it just right above here if we can. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna give it a bottom padding or a bottom, bottom margin of one rem. And so we don't need this, we don't need this, but we are at podcast now, so that is good. Uh, probably don't need to make this a link either. This would just be some text. So let me undo that. I'm gonna delete, delete. And this is now podcasts. 
So you can't click that, which is fine, but you can still go back to content. So let's preview and we'll click content. And we're gonna add our breadcrumbs wrapper in here as well. Just pasting, oh, I don't wanna paste it there. I want to paste it here. We'll bring it up to the top. Thank you, Webflow. Let's delete podcast. Let's delete this link, delete this, delete this. And this is called content now. And then we could also always go home. So just like that, if we go to content page and then we go to our podcasts and then we go to Google vs. World, now we can see we've got these breadcrumbs up here. We can click podcast, we can go back, we can go to Twitter did what, we can go to content. So really, really good structuring of data going on here now. All right, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helped you out. If you like this update, I think you'll really like a video that I did on how to steal Webflow's code to make background video within CMS a thing. I'll put a link to that right here. Now, I'm really excited about this update. I think it's really gonna change a lot for us uh, in SEO, especially with larger projects. So if you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.